Highway 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. Well, Carson, uh, everybody wants to know what to expect this weekend, but uh, you're saying make plans cautiously. Yeah, just cautiously. I wouldn't cancel anything, mm -hmm. but it is summer after all, right. so it's hot, it's humid, and that means mm -hmm. some storms, yeah, especially yes. especially for tomorrow. Right. Let's talk about what to expect on this Friday. Main concern is you head out the door is some fog, especially in northwest Alabama. That fog's getting a little better in Marshall County. And here in the city, we have not seen a whole lot of fog just yet. Wherever you are, if you don't see that fog, well, it feels warm, it feels soupy. And that's going to be the case for quite some time. Very hot and humid this afternoon. Higher chance for storms today than what we saw yesterday or any other day this week. So just keep a closer eye on to the skies later on this afternoon in particular. It'll be those clusters of storms that move in as opposed to those pop up storms. We'll keep the chance for a few more lingering storms this evening. Not quite as many though, and I do expect most of us to dry out for your Friday night plants. This morning, it's overcast for sure. 75 in Hudsville, 76 in Decatur, 76 in the Shoals, and you see that fog? It's improving slightly over Lake Gunnersville, but it's still kind of murky in Marshall County. So again, wherever you are, just add an extra five minutes to be safe. Some of that fog may still be around through about 8 o'clock this morning. No rain on your morning commute. 31 triple Doppler is nice and quiet. Could we have a stray shower pop up this morning? Sure, but that chance is very, very low. We're really not looking at any storms until past 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. Heading by the pool today, the earlier the better. Now, unfortunately, the clouds may hold tough. That would keep us from getting a whole lot of sunshine today, but it's still going to be warm. 92 is that forecast. It's very typical for this time of year, but it could feel like the lower triple digits when you add in that humidity. And just like yesterday, some of those storms that pop up this afternoon could pack a punch. A level one risk for severe weather is up for pretty much all of North Alabama. So it's a low end severe weather threat, but it's still something to keep in mind, not just today, but also on Saturday, any storm we see, whether it's strong or not, is going to have heavy rain. If you get several of those heavier thunderstorms, might lead to some flooding where you are. But those stronger storms are going to have those wind gusts, potentially upwards of 50, 60 miles per hour. Not necessarily severe hail that gets up to quarter size, but some nickel penny size hail, not out of the question either. Here's future radar. This is around noon. Small chance for a couple of pop ups around midday, but it'll be these clusters of storms that develop to our west that will be our main focus. Now the question is, how long will these storm clusters hold together as they push to the east? I expect those storms to be pretty strong as we go into northwest Alabama around 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon, but eventually those storms will start to weaken. But we could have additional clusters of storms as the evening goes on, weakening as they push closer to our area. Mostly dry overnight tonight, aside from a couple of lingering showers or storms. And throughout the day tomorrow, storms are likely. It's not going to rain every single second tomorrow, but it'll just be way after wave after wave, first of which could be early tomorrow morning, break around midday before more storms fire up, especially to our south Saturday afternoon. Rain chances drop beginning Sunday, and that means the heat is on. 95 Tuesday, 97 Wednesday and Thursday, and we may have to bump up those temperatures a little higher. It all comes down to how much storms coverage we see. For now, it's pretty low, but there is a possibility we could actually hit 100 degrees next week, regardless of what our actual temperature is, though. It could feel as hot as 105 to 110.